Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these elegant lacy beaded earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. So if you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful matching sets from my tutorials. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips for new inspirations. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads. These are earring findings in black color. You could use silver color if you want. This is size D Nemo beading thread, which is a nylon thread. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up now are eight of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have eight of those. Now I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And now I will make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot. Okay. And now guys I have this. Now in my next step what I want to do is take two silvers, one black and two silvers. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And as I'm exiting here from this bead, I'm going back in circle through the same bead. Now I have this. In my next step, I'm going through two beads. And what comes up next is the same thing, two silvers, one black and two silvers. Okay. And I'm going back in circle through this one. Okay, then again go through two beads. Okay, I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step what I'm doing is that I go through these two silver beads in this direction. Okay, and here what I want to take are five silver beads. Okay, I take five. I go here through the following silver. Okay. Then I repeat this. I reposition my thread here 
where I'm exiting these silver beads, two silvers, and I pick up five silvers. Okay, five, and I go through these two beads. And again, I will repeat this two more times until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and what I'm going to do next is a similar thing. I'm going here through these two beads in this direction. Okay. Again through these two. And what I need to add here are again five seed beads. Okay, five, and I'm going here through these two. For now, I don't have problems working with um, size 10 beading needle, but if, it, if you think it will be better, use size 12 or size 11. I did it with 10. Okay, and I continue repeating this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this and what I like to do now guys is cut this tail thread, okay. Then as I'm exiting here, what I want to do is exit one more time in this direction. And from this newly added, added five beads that I did here, I will find their center. Here it is, it is the bead that's sticking out the most. Okay, this one here. And I want to connect it to this center. You see here I have two beads, two beads, and this one is the one that's sticking out the most. So I will be connecting the middle beads of the five newly added ones with a sequence of two whites, one silver and two whites. Okay, you see what I have here. And I'm going here through this one. Two whites, one silver and two whites. And I'm going here, two whites, one silver and two whites, and I will continue this until the end of this row.
Okay, guys, now this is what I have. Okay, and in my next step, I want to go through these two white beads here. And I want to add the following sequence. Two black beads, one silver and two black beads, okay. And I'm going here through the first white. Okay, I have this. And then again, two blacks, one silver and two black beads. And I go here through this one. Okay, then again, two blacks, one silver, and two black beads. I'm skipping this silver that's on my way, and I'm going through the first white. And I'll show you one more time. I'm exiting between those two white beads. And I'm taking two blacks, one silver, and two blacks, and I exit here, skipping these three in the middle, white, silver, white. I'm going here in this white. And I'll show you two more times and let you do this by yourself. Okay, two blacks, one silver, and two blacks. Skip the silver in the center here and go through the following white. And then again, two blacks, one silver and two black beads. And go through this white. So I skip the central three beads, okay? And now I will continue doing this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Sorry not two but five beads from this row. Okay this is what I have. Now what I do is that I go through these two black beads and I go here through this silver. Now I take a black, a silver and a black and I go through the following silver. Okay. Then again, a black a silver and a black and I go through the following silver again a black a silver and a black and I'm going through the following silver okay and this row is really easy and really pleasant repeat it until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row i'm exiting through this silver okay and now what i want to do is go through the next silver here and I will start my last row that will give this beautiful edge to my work. Okay, I take three silvers. I go back in circle through this silver, just like this. And I have this beautiful cross of four beads. Then in my next step, I skip this silver and exit out of the next silver, you see? I'm skipping this one and going through the following silver. Okay. Here I'm taking again three silver beads. Okay, three. And I'm going back in circle through this one, skipping the next, next one. And if you can, in one movement, go through the following.
okay and i'm going to show you this one more time i take three silvers go back through this one skip the next and exit through the following if you want to do this in one movement if not do this slowly in two or more movements okay now this is what i have and i will continue these guys until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and now my earring is almost ready i need to add my earring finding here okay here it is and in order to do this i will go in this direction and my goal is to exit here at the top and i'm going to take one seed bead my earring finding and one more seed bead this is what i have here on my needle and i'm going back in circle through this loop okay and then i'm going to reinforce my work and then i will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread and i will make this knot here between my beads okay i'm making here a loop and i'm going once then i'm going second time through this loop i've made i make sure i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from and i pull then i could repeat this knot several more times and when i'm ready i will take my scissors and cut my thread as close as possible to my work okay guys and now my elegant lacy earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to hit the bell and subscribe and in this way you will be notified when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on facebook and instagram and you could also check my second channel bijuteo fast clips for new inspiration thank you so much for watching bye bye from me